Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back. Because I have yours. How about that? Let's see. No cards I want to come out. There we go. All right, we got several cards that come out. Bottom of the deck is judgment or realization so the cards we have is the will of fortune we have the knight of pentacles we have the seven of cups and we have temperance so what it looks like to me is that the options that you have you have to go after them um, in order for to have some type of completion or that's the realization that you needed to have when it comes to you facing yourself uh, facing yourself is you, you basically um, just having a realization of what it is that you need to do for yourself and so doing the work and actually knowing that you have options and having balance in the process of that is a way for you to move forward and to see things in a clear light. Sometimes judgment comes um, when you are not going down the right direction or going uh, towards the right direction when it comes to what the universe has to offer you. And so we can get uh, things misconstrued and it can cause a lot of self-doubt if we don't really look and look at our calling, look at the things that we have going on and that we need to do. So I'm clarifying the Wheel of Fortune card. These cards come out. Wheel of Fortune comes with three of Pentacles and the six of Pentacles. So the way that you give, this is a realization that you have to have. The way that you give, the completion is in order. Wheel of Fortune energy is just letting you know that, um, you know, you've been rolling with it and going with the flow forever. And also the ebb and flows of life uh, comes with, you understanding about the um, people that complete you and not deplete you and the people who deplete you and not complete you and how much you give to those types of energy. Six of Pentacles given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself. Um, the Knight of Pentacles just lets you know you can't get the results without first doing the work, show up, work hard, keep pushing every day. But the Knight of Pentacles also lets you know that you know, in the process of that, you need to gain a routine and you need to understand the difference between what what the difference in six years and not and, and, and nine years and what nine years can do. Nine years, you can be abundant if you find the people who complete you and not deplete you. And that three year of you working with people and doing the work is why you have to look at things and have a realization and have some type of balance in your life because the you know you can have so many options in your life and yet yet and still not go after them because people are just takers and they're just taking and using your energy and so with the knight of pentacles comes unsure energy of the five of swords yeah the five of swords is ego so you could be dealing with people that have egos and if you keep letting those egos get the best of you then you won't be able to move forward and that's the realization that you have to have you have to be with like-minded individuals we're clarifying the five of pentacles in order to be happy so this is you actually you know having all the rewards and having your cake and eating it too because you've done the work you know what it's like and you understand that this is emotional stability to you family friends and also flourishing and so it's not that you won't be able to flourish but if you don't have the dynamic of dealing with some people who want to work with you as a team which is the three of pentacles energy but it also is collaborate and learning from the people that have been around you of the options and the success that you can have because people aren't uh, helping you um, mentally or emotionally. Um, yeah, emotionally, mentally. They're not helping you get to where, not get to where you need to go, but they're not supporting you mentally, physically, and spiritually. And that's what you need. Seven of Cups energy, doing what makes your heart happy. If somebody is telling you that, you know, um, lover's energy card of Gemini to follow your heart, when your friends uh, will tell you, you know what, Cancer, you have more options that you lead yourself on to believe. Follow your heart instead of saying, well, we don't want cancer to be better than us. You know, we don't want cancer to outdo us. They're telling you these type of people that you find to complete your life are pushing you ahead and always want to see you successful. Um, the temperance energy is clarified with the eight of pentacles. Yeah. The temperance energy is learning to find balance and to do the work on your own. But again, the realization comes with 
you could be at the point of your life where you're overthinking and you're doubting the the growth and the process of being able to move forward and so again the people around you you know how they say you're you're like the five you can be like the five people that um you are around the people that are around you could restrict your energy, your your po- positive energy, and turn it into negative energy based upon ego driven um, situations and ego driven uh, communications. And so this could cause conflict and um, and feeling defeated. But it also uh, can cause you to uh, resent the past and so and the past energies and not move forward to the future. And so. The people that are around you are the ones that you need to really kind of look at and see, are these people, do these people have my best interest? Are they, um, are they my cheer or my hype man is what I'm trying to say. Are they my hype man? Are they hyping me to do better, be better and see things better on a different perspective? Or are they the, are they the reason why I'm not moving forward? And that's the realization that everybody needs to have when it comes to friendship and dealing around ego. And so the unsure energy of the ego is where it comes in at when it comes to the team and the people that you're around, the people that are admire you, the people that are wanting to see you win or wanting to see you just give, 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 because you need to go after your dreams. You're steady, constant. You're constantly, um, co- you're not coercing. You're constantly pushing people ahead and having them follow their dreams, but you don't have that person. You don't have a you in your corner. And, um, you know, not saying that you don't, you might not have a you in your corner. And in that same process, you have to understand that it's sometimes time for you to, um, it, it can be time for you to just let things happen and, um, you know, figure out what's best for you, if that makes sense. So that's just kind of how I see that because, you know, at some point, some people, you know, don't know how to cheer you on. I'm going to pull from a different card deck. I've been just using these two card decks. Okay, so spirituality card 77 that tried to come out. Uh, Card number 77 um, and also healing um, card number 66 came out. So, you know, your spirituality, your belief system. Sometimes you have to unlearn to relearn. And sometimes you have to change the things that are around you. Boy, I didn't even see that out. Intuition. Intuition comes out. Card number 22. Uh, intuition meaning that you need to trust in your intuition follow your intuition for new beginnings you know and so that's kind of how I see that energy the new beginnings and following your intuition comes with change so change has to happen and change in friendships friendship dynamics friend yeah karmic completion and that is where the wheel is it turns back around to be completion card number 10 card number 10 there's a completion there the completion comes with you learning that change has to happen when you learn to trust yourself to have the new beginnings and get rid of the karmic energies the egos and things like that people who aren't cheering you on uh in the correct direction or in the right direction so that's just kind of how i see that so um, I'm going to go ahead and pull from the four agreements and then I'll pull from the chakra, excuse me, the crystal deck, and I'll put the links up above so that you can go ahead and, uh, get my perspective on it. So with the crystal deck, um, I, t- I think I want to pull one more card. Um, because again, I think that I'll pull from the ascended life Oracle. I got another card deck. Um, that I want to start using, but I haven't really read it and seen what it was and um, basically how to use it because it's about the zodiacs and um, signs or whatever. And it has rituals in there, which I just, um, you know, everybody has their own rituals. But ghosting, sudden disappearing act, cutting off all communication, feeling rejected, dealing with the lack of closure. So those are the energies that will keep you stagnant. So you have to clean those energies up. The karmic completions has to be had. It says sweeping away negative situations, cleaning up your life, decluttering your mind, and simplifying your life. So that is what you're doing and what you're looking at, especially when it comes to people who complete you and not deplete you. So that was a really good thing that we needed to do. So ghosting, is it ghosting? No, sometimes you just have to, you know, turn around and not say what it is that you need to say and just move forward because the more the the silence is the best answer if you ask me without even explaining to anybody because 
nine times out of ten, if I cut you off, you handed me the scissors. That means you know exactly what you did. So be impeccable with your words. So say what you want, mean what you say. So if you feel like you need to have closure and speak your mind about what it is and why you're deciding to change and trust yourself, then you can have that conversation. But then, again, is it going to be an open-ended conversation or is it going to be a closed uh, conversation, meaning that there's not going to be anything after it. You're going to speak your piece and not look for a rebuttal. So that's what the rebuttal is, the thing that will end up pissing you off more at the end. So it says, realize the power of your words. Your word is um, like spells, you know. You can, you have the power to heal, and it'll say it here. But anyway, basically what I'm trying to say to you is that that's why I tell you to send strength and healing, period, because sending strength and healing, period, to a person, place, thing, or a situation, because no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher, this person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson, and that's one that you've learned. Your word is the uh, is the power that you have to create. If it, it is a gift that comes directly from God. So be the change that you need to see, be the change that you need to be, and also understand that sometimes no uh, answer is the best answer, and uh, cutting off all communication has to happen when it comes to your growth and working on yourself, eight of pentacles energy. And so if you understand that, then you'll know that, you know, when you are, have a task and you're trying to develop something and trying to do something there are only people that can support you or not support you and there's takers that want you to spend the majority of the time doing the things that they needed you to do because they're not used to you changing and I what I read this I listen not read I listened to this um TikTok that says a therapist said that nine times out of ten a lot of people don't like the new you because you're not that same old person for them anymore so they don't like that they knock that down so anyway the blue lace agate is here that's the throat and the third eye chakra which deals with communication stabilization and calming communication stabilization and calming it says i communicate easily and effectively and that's why you're impeccable with your words because once you start cleaning up all of this stuff some all answers some answers are just best not to give and so that's cutting out all cutting off all communication and people will feel rejected but at the same time you're protecting your energy you're trusting in your intuition and that's the change the death energy that you need to be you need to be the change that you want in your life and that starts new beginnings if that makes sense and so there you have it you're cutting off all toxicity so let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions and remember addictions can be to a person place thing or situation i love you guys